Hi, this is Rick DeWitt with Axiom, here to bring you translation secret number six. And in this secret, we're going to discuss how to control reference files when translating files between MicroStation and AutoCAD. And you access the reference file options through the file Save As menu choice. You then change your Save As type to either MicroStation or AutoCAD. In this case, we're saving an AutoCAD file to MicroStation V8. And then you click the Options button. And the options will bring you the Save As V8 options in this case, or DWG options if you're saving a, a MicroStation file to AutoCAD. Now, one of the tabs in this dialog is a References tab. So by clicking that, you'll see the various options available to you when saving from AutoCAD into MicroStation in this case. Now, self attachments are not something that AutoCAD supports. So we're we're not going to spend any time there, but external attachments are. And uh, you have several choices when translating on how you want to handle those attachments. And by clicking the button, you'll see you can retain attachments. You can merge the elements from attachments into the model that has the attachment. You can also merge to a cell, which is like binding in AutoCAD, or you can leave the attachments out altogether. Now, if you do choose to merge your attachments, there's a couple options that control how the elements from the reference are going to be merged into the master file. In other words, how are levels going to be handle. The choices here include if not found. So if a level exists in the reference and you're merging it to a non-existent level, what do you want to do? So we're going to we're going to bring the level in if it doesn't exist. It says if overrides exist. Now overrides deal with if the symbology like by level or override symbology is different from the reference file and the master file, it's going to create a new level for each reference file that has different symbology and give it a name like the reference reference name in front of the level name. Always means that every level from the reference is going to be added into the master file with a unique name to differentiate it in the master file. So those are your choices on references. You also have the ability to control whether to convert the actual reference files themselves right here and how you want to clip elements when references are clipped and whether you want to unnest or copy the live nested attachments which is very useful especially when going from MicroStation to AutoCAD. You can also merge displayed levels only. Hope this helps you in your translation efforts.